Our dear students, welcome back to English, Family and Friends for Grade 4, Semester 1, Unit 4, We're Having Fun at the Beach, Lesson 2, Grammar. Before we start our lesson, you will need your mini board and a marker or a piece of paper and a pencil. Here are today's lesson objectives. By the end of today's lesson, you are going to be able to identify the affirmative and negative forms of the present continuous verbs, use the affirmative and negative forms of the present continuous verbs accurately, and write sentences using affirmative and negative forms of the present continuous verbs accurately. Now let's read and learn about present continuous. Here we have the pronouns I, you, he, she, it, they, we. We will start with the affirmative. Here we have I. We use the verb to be am and we will say I'm swimming. You and the verb to be are. You're running. He, she, it, take the verb to be is. It will be he's diving. They or we take are. They will, it will be their reading. Now, let's see the negative form. Here we have I. It will become I'm not swimming. You we will say, you aren't running. Or we can say, you are not running. He, she, and it take, isn't, or is not. And we will say, he isn't diving. They, we, we will, we will use aren't or are not. And we will say, they aren't reading. Now, here we have these sentences. We, we used present continuous. Why do we use present continuous? We use present continuous to talk about things that are happening now at this moment. Now, let's read more and learn about present continuous. Now, we have the first rule. Short verbs ending in one vowel, which are I, O, U, E, or A, and a consonant, we will double the last consonant or letter. Let me give you an example. We have the word swim, and we will add ING to change it to present continuous. So here we have in the word swim, we have the vowel I and we have the consonant M. So what are we going to do? We will double the letter M and it will become swimming. The second rule is the verbs that end with a silent E, we drop the silent E at the end of the verb. Here we have an example the verb dive. We will change it to present continuous by adding ing. It will become diving. As you can see here, we dropped the silent e and it became diving. Now, as we learned the previous two rules, let's change the following verbs to the present continuous. Here we have present simple verbs. I want you to change them to present continuous. I'm going to give you three minutes to do this activity. Now let's start with the first word. I'm sure you remember it from the previous slide. Swim. Here we have a vowel, letter I, and a consonant, letter M, we will double the letter M and it will become swimming. Now let's see the second verb, dive. What are you going to do? 
Excellent. As you can see, we have a silent E. So we will drop the silent E and it will become diving. Now, let's look at the verb shop. Now look here, we have the vowel O and we have the consonant P. What are you going to do? Excellent. We are going to double the letter P. It will become shopping and of course we will add ING. Here we have the verb run. We have the vowel U followed by the consonant M. Now what are you going to do? Excellent. We are going to double the consonant N. And our present continuous will be running. Now let's look at the next verb. We have hide. Now look at the word or at the verb. We have a silent E at the end. What are you going to do? Do you remember the rule? Very good. We are going to drop the letter E and we will add ING and it will become hiding. Now let's see the next verb. It's eat. Good. It will become eating. What about the next verb? Read. Very good. We will add ing and it will become reading. Now, let's start with the, affir with the structure of the affirmative sentences. First, we start with the pronoun, and in this example, it's he, followed by verb to be. In this example, it's is. And then, we add the verb plus ing, which is swimming. Let's move on to the structure of the negative form. Again, we will start with the pronoun. Here, it's he. Then with the verb to be, is, plus not, so it's isn't. And then finally we add the verb plus ing, swimming. He isn't swimming. Now, let's see the more sentences. Here we have, they're diving. And of course, this is affirmative structure. First, we start with the pronoun, followed by the verb to be, which is are, and then diving. They're diving, or we can also say they are diving. Let's see the negative form. They aren't diving. Again, first we start with the pronoun, then with the verb to be, aren't, and then not, it will become aren't, and then finally, verb plus ing, diving. They aren't diving, or we can say they are not diving. Let's see more examples. Here we have, they're shopping. Can you remember, what do we start with? Good, we start with the pronoun. And then what should we add? Excellent, we add the verb to be, and here we have are. And then finally we add the verb plus ing. They're shopping, or we can say they are shopping. Let's see the negative form. They aren't shopping. Again, what do we start with? Very good, we start with a pronoun. And then we add verb to be, and here we have are, and then not, so it will become aren't, or we can also say are not. And finally we add the verb plus ing. They aren't shopping, or they are not shopping. Now, let's read about Ahmed. And then we will fill in the blanks by changing the verbs to present continuous. We will either change them to the affirmative form or the negative form. Let's start. You have three minutes to finish this activity.
Now let's check our answers. I am Ahmed. My hobby is taking photos. It's not collecting stickers. I'm going to share my album. In the first picture, you can see that my friend Hassan. Here we have the verb play and you have to use the affirmative form. Excellent. My friend Hassan is playing volleyball. He, again we have the verb play, but here you have to use the negative form. Very good. He isn't playing basketball. The second one is a picture where my sisters Hannah and Jenna, here we have the verb cook and you have to use the affirmative form. Very good. My sisters Hannah and Jenna are cooking dinner. They, we have the verb wash and you have to use the negative form. Excellent. They aren't washing the dishes. I also have a picture of my family at the beach. You can see that my cousin Rashid, here you can see the verb swim and you have to use the affirmative form. Remember, how do we change the verb swim to present continuous? What do we do? We have a vowel and then a consonant. Excellent. So, my cousin Rashid is swimming. He, we have the verb dive, and you have to use a negative form. Very good. He isn't diving. And as you can see, we dropped the silent E and we added ING. Now, let's practice more. Here you are going to answer the questions. You use the verbs in the boxes. Now, before we start, remember, with he, she, it, we use the verb to be is. With I, we use the verb to be am. With they, we, you, we use the verb to be are. Now, you have two minutes to answer the questions. Now let's see the first question. What is he doing? Here in the box we have put on socks. Let's check the answer. He is putting on his socks. Let's see number two. 
What is the cat doing? Look at the cat. What's the cat doing? And we have the verb eat. Excellent. It is eating. Well done. Now we have more questions. I will give you two more minutes. Now let's check our answers. Number three, what are they doing? We have the verb play. Good, they are playing. Let's see number four, what is he doing? And we have the verb read. Very good, he is reading. This was the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.